That is some tiny font. So today I'll be trying out the Rouge Signature Liquid Lipstick from L'Oreal. So if you're new here, this is my series where I wear test a new liquid lipstick, or sometimes they're just new to me, but in this case, this is an actual new release. Um, I'll wear test it for 10 hours, and then let you know throughout the day how it's wearing, how it's holding up after a meal, after water, and at the end of the day, let you know whether I think it's worth purchasing or just giving it a pass. If you'd like to watch my playlist for this series, I will link it in the description box below, or you can click right up there to watch. So I purchased the shade, God, this is tiny. Wow, that is some tiny font. Um, I purchased the shade 424 Represent, which is uh, this crazy bright hot pink color. When I bought it, I knew looking at the tube that it was going to be bright. I thought it would be more of a, a bright red. I didn't know it was going to be like flaming hot pink. I don't think I've worn this color since high school. The reason why I chose a color this dark and this bright is because when a color is more on the neutral side and it turns out to be a little patchy, it's harder to see when it blends in with the color of your lips. But when it's this bright, it's just, it's a little bit more obvious. So I picked this up for $13.99, which is starting to creep into higher end territory. And this lipstick comes in 12 different shades. So this comes with this, uh, arrow applicator which makes it really easy for application and getting into the corners and not making a mess and uh, it doesn't have a divot in the center but i'm not sure if it's appearing on camera it has these little ridges in the middle of the applicator it kind of smells like cherry hulls in a way weird I'm not sure why they needed to scent this. And on L'Oreal's website, some of the claims read, sign your lips in statement color with new L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Liquid Lipstick Ink. A collection of 12 ultra matte lip inks that combine an unapologetic bold color with super lightweight finish. For ultimate bare lip sensation, say goodbye to compromise. Long lasting no longer means thick, heavy, and uncomfortable matte finish. The oil in water formula lets lips breathe, leaving a memorable mark, but forgettable feel for the ultimate all day comfort. Every swipe will provide an instant pure color statement that lasts with a soft matte finish. With 12 on trend shades from deep plum to pillar box red, every woman can sign her look with her own statement color. With Rue's signature, less is more, less texture, more color, less excess, and more impact. And some of the benefits read, no flaking, no smudging, no drying out, unique oil and water formula and lasts up to 24 hours. So I applied this about two hours ago. Um, so far so good. It doesn't seem to be drying my lips at all. Just gonna do a swatch to show you what it looks like when first applied. It is this crazy vibrant pink formula. It looks almost like a, a lip stain uh, when it's first applied. Yeah, I haven't had any issues with it flaking or chipping. The corners, which are usually the first places to wear away, are completely solid. And uh, the center of my lips are still pretty solid. And I just ate lunch before I started filming this. And so far, everything still looks really nice. I'm still getting used to the color because it's a little outside my comfort zone. So as far as transfer, I haven't tried to transfer test yet. Ooh, it does transfer. From my point of view, it feels like it's dried down. It doesn't feel dry or uncomfortable. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the transfer thing. It's not a lot of transfer, but I mean, it's still there. It'll be interesting to see how this wears throughout the day. So I've been wearing this for about two hours. I think it was about two hours I first applied it. It's now 109. So I will check in in a little bit and let you know how this has been holding out. Just one more thing before I go. I was just trying to get this swatch. I just did on my hand off and uh although i got the bulk of it off it it stains like crazy i just applied this to my hand maybe about five minutes ago and it already like stained like mad so i can probably count on that staining my lips throughout the day so i'm going to continue scrubbing um and maybe break out the uh the makeup removing oil and uh i will see you guys in a few hours so the time is 403 well, I've had this on for about six hours in total, but let's get a peek at this. This still looks really good. It hasn't moved at all. Like since I had that first like transfer incident on my hand, there doesn't seem to be any further incident. Like it's still completely covered 
in the center. The corners are still intact. Yeah, it's not a color I would normally choose because it is so bright, but I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, this definitely has some staying power to it. It'll be interesting to see how this comes off tonight because um, I still have that stain on my hand earlier from where I did that swatch. So that's where we're at right now. I will see you guys in five hours. So the time is 7.25. So this lipstick has been on for a little over nine hours. It's only now that I'm noticing it's just starting to break up a little bit. And it's just like a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit in the corners, but the rest of it still looks really good. So if I had a situation where I needed a lip color that was gonna last all day, and I didn't wanna have to worry about it either like wearing off or anything like that, this does the job. Like there's a little bit in the corners that's starting to wear away. I'll zoom you in in a bit and show you, but like the rest of it, like my top lip and bottom lip are completely solid still. There is absolutely no flaking. There's no peeling, there's no chipping. This is a really strange formula. Like it's almost more like a lip stain than it is a liquid lipstick. So right in the corners here, my bottom and top lip are pretty much completely solid. I don't know if I'm 100% in love with the color. It's a little outside my comfort zone, but I thought it was a fun one to try just for something different. So for a drugstore liquid lipstick, this one is a little bit on the pricier side, but I think it's well worth the money. It lasts all day. There's no chipping, there's no flaking, and I don't feel like my lips are dehydrated. I mean, I didn't see, let me just get a close up on here. Yeah, like the lines on my lips don't look like they're magnified or accentuated. I'm not completely sold on the color. Again, a little outside my comfort zone, but they do have lighter, more neutral colors available I think I might try out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.